Step 5. Use an air sickness bag. They are there for a reason. Even if you're not sure you're going to throw up, it's a good idea to have one ready. You can usually find air sickness bags in the back of the chair in front of you. You might want to hold two of them near you. If you can't find one, ask the flight attendant. Letting the flight attendant know you're feeling sick can also be a good idea in general. They may let you move to a seat closer to the toilet. Don't feel embarrassed. Studies have shown that people have more flatulence and also bloating while flying, and that doesn't account for the fact that some people just get nervous in the air, making it worse. Method 1. Clinch Knot Step 1. Choose a clinch. Knot is your go-to fishing knot. Thread the end of a fishing line through the eye of the hook. Leave 4 in it 10 cm of tag end, excess line, on the right and leave a gap above the hook eye. Use this thread to make 5 to 7 wraps around the line. Clinch knots are a popular choice for fishermen. It's known to be reliable and quick to tie, which means more fishing time. Step 2. Thread the tag end through the gap to make the knot. Thread the tag end through the gap above the hook I made in step 1. Pull the knot tight. A little moisture may help. Wet it in your mouth to provide some lubrication. Clip off the excess line above the knot, leaving 1 8 in 0.3 cm of line. Method 2. Orvis Knot Step 1. Use the Orvis Knot as a strong and easy alternative to the clinch knot. Pass a line through the hook eye from below. Twist the tag end behind the main line to form a loop. Go behind the loop and forward with the tag end to create a figure 8 shape. Step 2. Thread the tag end 2 times and finish the knot. Feed the tag end through the top of the second loop and repeat this process twice. Then, lubricate the line with your mouth or a dab of water. Pull the tag end tight to close the knot and trim.